Hello, it's me James, and welcome back to another Minecraft Bedrock Edition bug slash glitch video. So, in today's video, I got another bunch of bugs and glitches, both found by myself and submitted by the community. Again, if you have submitted a bug, I want to say a huge thank you right now. And of course, if you do have another tip trick or glitch you want to submit, all of my links are in the description below. That being said, Let's jump straight on into today's video. So, in at one, we got the common anvil. For whatever reason, if I go ahead and enchant an item, there is no sound. It is just, like, soundless. So, yeah, number one, soundless anvil. Number two, wasn't really sure how to show this, but lag, offline lag. I've been experiencing this on my iPad a little bit. I mean, normally it's all right. I mean, like, around here maybe a little bit. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, it's definitely a little bit laggy. I've also heard a bunch of people say this as well. So yeah, hopefully uh, that gets fixed. Number three, you can't place and write a sign on rooted dirt. Number four, I actually seen this with Cat when I was making my 100 subscriber special. But basically, the spyglass in multiplayer kind of goes like a helicopter underneath the player. I mean, it's super, super weird. A little bit of a visual bug there. Up next, I found this one by complete accident. It is completely pointless. It is not a, a, a tip, a trick, or a glitch. But did you know that armor stands cannot hold armor stands? I mean, what the? Number six, you can actually place redstone on top of these things. I mean, it makes it look pretty cool. But it doesn't link up from the floor, as you can see. I'm not really sure that's supposed to happen. Next, a bucket of axolotl can actually give you unlimited water. I actually showcased that this with like the bucket of tropical fish ages ago. Um, it still works the same. Every now and again, basically, let me go into survival to show you this. So if I was to place this down and then pick the axolotl up again, if I can, uh, I've actually got more water in my bucket. And of course, we've placed a bucket of water down. Now we've got like a full... Oh God. Ah. Ah. What's going on? Oh my god, right. Oh damn. Now we've got a full bucket of axolotl and like loads of water. So it's kind of like a water dupe. Next, a very important one. I very briefly mentioned this in an episode of Simply Survival. Both deep slate, copper ore, coal ore, and emerald ore are all getting removed out of the game. Or at least they won't generate. So maybe if you make a world in 1.17... You might be able to find some, but it, like, yeah, it's going to be hard. So I noticed this one while searching for a seed. I don't know if it's a feature or a bug, but, yeah, when you go into lava, as you can see, that cross in the middle goes completely green. Not really sure why. And also, if we go into snow, it goes black. So I'm not sure if it's, like, a visual little bug. Uh, we've got, like, a little box in the middle of the screen there. And, of course, if we go into lava, it goes a little bit green. I don't know what just happened there, but that was pretty good. Yeah, it goes a little bit green, so just a little visual bug there. I'll be on my drip. On my drip, my drip. So, next one, drip leaves. Basically, um, yeah, these things, they're a little bit weird. They're, like, redstone things, I believe, so you can, like, use, use them with redstone. So, small drip leaves can only be placed in water unless they are on the clay block or a moss block, like so. They can't be placed on gravel. They can't even be placed on gravel underwater. And if you try, you get this weird little animation, just like a little visual bug. But, I mean, you can place them on dirt underwater and, of course, like, clay. You can't place them on sand, so I think maybe you can't place them on gravity blocks. As far as the big drip leaves go, you can pretty much place these anywhere. Like, when I say anywhere, I mean anywhere. For example, you can place them on top of a lightning rod, a wall, a cauldron filled with lava, a piston, a hopper, which conveniently makes a really, really slow collection system. <laughs> you can put them on a honey block, a tree... A music block, a composter, pretty much any item. I mean, like, par a few. You can even go ahead and make yourself a dripstone crystal, which, I mean, I, like, tried to make it go off, but it, I, I didn't know how to get it to work. But, yeah. I mean, it's kind of, like, weirdly awesome. <laughs> Up next, I've mentioned this one before, but it's still in the game, and I, this block right here, the, uh, the, the big drip leaves, really well, like, shows how, like, bad this bug is, because it, like, makes it look a little bit rubbish. I'll show you why. So, as you can see, this is what the item looks like when we put this in an item frame, or even a normal item frame. And if we go to the back, it looks like this, because, you know, the item is 
like sticking out the back again i've uh, done this like that because this is a really good example really we need that item a little bit further forward just so we can see the stem and yeah i mean this happens with a few items they do happen to go all the way back but like stuff with its drip leaf for example i think it needs to be brought forward or like something fixing to do with this we have got the slice portal i made a video on this in simply survival i'ma throw the link to that in the description below so you can place a large amethyst crystal on like a wall but if a wall is in the ground look what happens it will break into a shard so i mean I, I found this i don't know if it could be used anything i think someone said like if you've not got fortune you could totally just do this um and and then get loads of the shards if you, i mean it's pretty fast to do this like a shard maker or something like that um so yeah shard maker of course you do need the crystals first to be able to make this but i mean it's a nice little tip oh damn Okay, so up next, we got banners again. We love we love a good banner. Let's get this one this time, the, uh, the, the Illager one. Let's go around here and uh, remove this one. So basically, the uh, the idea to... Oh, no. All right, banners, super glitchy. When you look through a portal, you can clearly see them. Like, crystal clearly see them. Like, that's when... <laughs> you know what? They're a little bit sharper through a portal. And I don't know if that should be the case. I mean, everything else is not sharper. As you can see, it's all, like, very vague. But these really do stick out. I've noticed it happens underwater a slight bit as well. If we go ahead and place this down. I mean, yeah, it happens underwater as well. Bear in mind, I do have night vision on. But without night vision, if I, uh, you know, go ahead and drink some milk, you can see the same effect happens. Uh, not so much in the water, but definitely through portals and like i said i'm not sure visually that that should be the case so another thing that's pretty broken in this update are portals i hear from a number of people fortunately enough it's not actually happened to me yet but when you go through a nether portal sometimes it will take you to a random place so you could be coming back to the overworld and you could just be at random coordinates i mean that's totally not convenient for anyone all right next walls i found this by a complete accident as you can see when walking on them like this I mean, we've kind of got a visual of a little, like, step up, like so. However, if you go ahead and put them underwater, the visual of the step up completely goes. And, I mean, it just looks flat. It doesn't look good. Although, when you go over it, you still do get that little step up. But visually, it looks terrible. All right. I got a nerd pole on my horse for this one. So, the fact that you can place blocks through a horse is, like, glitchy enough. I almost thought I fell there. But, yeah, even if I did fall, I mean, horses do not take damage. We still have that weird noise. And, yeah, this was an old bug. Just a little bit of an up updated information. But these things do not take damage. So, we got, like, feather falling horses still. Again, with the updated information, a little x-ray glitch that has not been patched. Still really well working. I'm going to go here. I'm not really sure if there's anything about here. But, you want to dig two blocks down go ahead and place a block above your head you then want to change your perspective like so and as you can see we can see a bunch of caves over there and if we just slowly go up it did allow me to see a lot more there but yeah you can you can see a bunch of stuff i mean if you crouch you have a little bit more control oh nice we can see an axe a lot over there um yeah crouching definitely gives you a little bit more control for whatever reason uh, so definitely advised to crouch. So I was messing around with the spyglass and also doing stuff like this. And yeah, yeah, yeah. You can basically do like stuff whilst you're doing emotes now. So if I go to wave, I can uh, make weird stuff like that. That is definitely glitchy. <laughs> so yeah, here I'm doing spyglass no handed. Well, with a hand there. Of course, this also works with like stuff like swords as well. So it's, it's kind of funny. Let me go ahead and I don't know, do this one. And if you carry on hitting, it's just a little bit weird. So, and we'll go for that one. Oh, damn. One-handed handstand. That's insane. Oh, damn. <laughs> so, yeah, a little bit buggy. This is definitely an old one, but I'm, I, I seen it brought up on the chat. And I posted it in the uh, Discord chat the other day. Cauldron, full of lava, underwater. I mean, that's so illegal, right? If you've not got that in your illegal museums or whatever, definitely worth putting it in. So, back to the updated information. Duplication glitches that work in this update. Of course, the beacon glitch is still working in this update. What the... 
I have no idea how. Use it while you can. Of course, use it wisely. Use it carefully. But yeah, use it. It's the beacon glitch. It's awesome. I'll throw a link to how to do it in the description. All we need to do is be on a touchscreen device, have the items you want to duplicate in your hotbar, non-stackable items, unfortunately, do not duplicate. So it's just stackable items. Literally put the stackable items in your hotbar and you're away. Next up, we're talking about a bug that, you know, probably should have been patched already. And of course, we're talking about the collision box bug. I mean, dude, we can go all the way down here. It's eventually going to kill me, but it's super annoying. At this point, at first, it was all right, but now it's just, in my opinion, annoying. Can we get that fixed? Next, floating amethyst crystals. This one's really simple to do. All you got to do, get yourself one of these blocks, calakite or whatever it's called. Grab yourself one of these crystals and then place another one just here. Remove the first block remove the second block and you got yourself a floating crystal definitely one for the illegal block museum up next wondering traders i mean i hate these guys even more i hate them so much i'm pretty sure that they've nerfed how like often they spawn which is like a good thing until you need to buy stuff off them then it's really annoying because you're waiting for them all of the time uh, just to clear this up, I got three pink sheep spawn in the time I got three wandering traders spawn. I'm not really sure how, like, rare or often a wandering trader is supposed to spawn, but, uh, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be more often than a pink sheep. I'm sure we've all heard about the diamond catastrophe, and if you haven't heard already, this is getting patched very, very soon. So, I seen this tweet from one of the Minecraft production team saying it is on their radar and it will be fixed soon. But if you didn't know, diamonds are, yeah, they're pretty much non-existent in, in like, the new world and stuff like that. They don't generate very much. But, yeah, it's getting fixed noticed this one when i was on my ipad basically all clothes of zombie villagers and villagers when you're on ipad i i mean it could be like just select ipads i'm not really sure the clothes are completely black and the textures sometimes go a little bit weird it looked really really awesome um to be fair i did keep one of the zombie villagers that i found but i didn't know it was only exclusive to ipad so let me know if you've had something like this happen to you before but I mean, every time I go on my iPad, well, my girlfriend's iPad, the villager clothes are completely black. For this one, we have a bedrock removal trick. A full video is in the description below. And finally, glow frames are actually brighter in the day than the night. So this is them in the day, and I'll do a side com I'll do a side by side comparison so you can really see the difference. And this is them at midnight. Literally, there is a massive, massive difference. So, there we have it. My first bug update of, like, 1.17. Again, no doubt I'll be throwing a few of these videos out when more bugs are found. To be fair, I've already got a few that are not on this list, so I'll, I'll get started on another video. So, that's all I've got time for today. I will catch you on the next one.